There they go. See what I can do. Welcome back to another greasy pigeon silo jump shoot, whatever y'all want to call this. I don't know, you guys have been liking these videos and I've been loving filming them and doing them. It's just me today, Dustin's in the cities and Carter is working, he's doing docks this summer so he's a busy man so it's just gonna be me today. Hopefully that's all right with y'all, I know I can be kind of annoying but, but this is the infamous first spot that we always go to first and um, I don't even know if I wanna show y'all the GoPro footage. As you guys can hear, the pigeons cooing in here. Winter's over, guys. <sighs> Usually we got two or three guys doing this with us and uh, it's just me today, like I said, but I'm gonna be bringing y'all to some newer spots that you guys have not seen on the channel. These are spots that I found later last year in the farm season. Uh, I sent Jacob Sweary and Colton and Dustin, I think, out to one spot. And I think they shot like 75 pigeons out of a silo, just one silo, smaller than this one. I'm going to leave this spot here and I'm going to go to a spot that y'all haven't seen before. Hopefully at this spot, uh, the farmer said he wants to tear down the silos and I said that you got to wait another year so we can keep shooting these pigeons out of there. Oh, down beside that red fire line. Oh. Okay, so at this spot, Obviously, they're gonna be in this one and then I think it's the fourth and fifth one I think these two middle ones actually there might be a hole in the middle one in the back, but It'd be a hard angle for me to get at so I'm gonna check this one first. I'm gonna try and uh, Throw a rock at it first or something Because every time I go up to the door, I gotta run back and maybe get a shot off on these pigeons I'm gonna check, see if anything's in here. There's one. All right. Oh, I hear one. No. Hello? Okay, okay, okay. I'll wait for you, man. No. Oh, they can't fly. But I only shot one out of here. I'm gonna go and get it, and then I'm gonna go to the next spot. I take that back. There's one flirting with me right now. See if you can get a little closer. There we go. We're on the board. Two down. Well, we just pulled up to the new spot that Sweary and them were at last year where they shot 75, and uh, and the middle one there, that little tiny one, is the one that they all came out of. All these other ones, um, I don't think the hatches are open. I could be wrong, uh, but we'll check. I do see like five pigeons standing on that middle one and the one next to it. I'm going to try to get my tripod out there. One gun, my tripod. I do have two guns, but I'm just using the one for now. It's kind of tedious swapping guns. I should just buy an extended tube. So the door just slammed shut on that third one and there was probably a hundred pigeons that just flew by. It might be a good thing they actually kind of left. Then uh, if they do go and fly around, I could just sit here at the bins and wait for them to cycle back. I am rocking the Impala. I've had no complaints with this gun. We're not working with them right now, but for the money, Impala Plus is a great shotgun. All right. I'm just gonna wait till a pigeon flies over and gives me an opportunity to shoot it. But I have it facing this bin here because that's where the juice is. Look at that white winger coming in. I'm going to shoot that white winger and then uh, there should be some that come out this silo. Wherever it is. I don't want you. 
Oh, I got two. Let's go. All right, I guess I'm not gonna be picky anymore, and I'm just, if, I, if there's an opportunity at my door, I'm gonna take that opportunity, and I'm going to shoot that pigeon. Oh, we got one bombing in right now. Man. Oh, I gotta reload. Not today. Not any day. All right. I hear a few in there. There's nowhere to open this door. Oh, here we go. Holy shit! I think I got two? Yes. Gotcha. Hey. There's like 10 in there. It seems like they're flying. They're just smart. I missed. 12, 13, 14, 15. Nothing back there. 16. There's a nest on top of that. 17. And behind that, I'm sure there's probably at least five more so there's at least 25 babies in this in this silo come on get out let's go i found nine here so far i'm not sure how many i shot I, there's probably one or two in the tall grass back by the woods there but i'm going to sit here i've seen some flying out of that far silo but the lid's closed so it doesn't really make sense to me i'm gonna sit here for a little longer and uh, just wait for some of these pigeons to come back and then I'm gonna shoot them. Well, I was just about to leave because I've been sitting here for about 15 minutes and I uh, haven't seen much, but these two pigs right here are gone now. So I'm going to head out of this spot and I'm gonna go to the next spot, which is also another really good spot that Luke and I came across last farm season, so it's about a 15 minute drive from here, so I'm not gonna be hunting these same local pigeons. As I'm picking those two pigeons up, the flock's coming back. All right, I'm out of here. We're at the next spot here. The main spots we're gonna be watching is this silo here. It's got that open door on top. And I'm th I think that one is open too. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it might just be this one. I did see about 50 pigeons over there when I was pulling in and a few flying out. I think when Luke and I were here last time, we shot probably 20, just me and Luke. And that's pretty good for two cameramen. Oh 
I'm out of ammo. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. What? Ah! Let's see if there's any more in here. I see a ton of eggs. What is this stuck on? Well, I got four. Oh shit. Five. I'd need to get an extended tube, man. This three shells is ridiculous. Which way are you going? Did you even make it out? Okay. I. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I got four in my hand. There's one more behind the silo right over there. That makes five at this spot. Uh, I need to invest in a extended tube because three shots is kind of stupid for me, honestly, by myself out here. Um, if I had like two or three guys, it'd make more sense. But I'm at like 20 pigeons so far. And there's other spots I can go to. I might, I might drive around this area and scout out some new spots, see if I can't find a new spot here quick. I've been driving around for probably 30 or so minutes and I haven't been seeing much and I stopped my truck and went on Onyx and scrolled around a little bit and I stumbled upon this old old farmstead it looks like, um, called the guy, he said I could go in there and shoot as much pigeons as I can and there's about three silos that's probably in the middle middle of this property here. It's pretty run down, when I have my GoPro on you guys will be able to see what it looks like but it is stacked on top of them three silos, so this could be a juice hole. I'm not sure. I'm going to go and set my stuff up. So that first silo there looks like it's capped off. That middle one, there's three pigs standing on top. So I'm busted there. Who knows how many are in that thing. Well, there's four out. It's locked, but there's a pigeon egg. Frick. Well, now I'm in a predicament. See if I can turn this just a little bit enough to get it open. Holy shit. They're coming back. Oh my goodness. I hear them in there, they just don't want to get out. These stupid things like that. Well, that's probably gonna be it at this spot, just cause I freaking can't get in this door. 
I see one right now. Not as much as I thought there'd be here. I didn't expect there to be a lock on that door. Otherwise, I'd probably have a few more than that, as there's still some in there, and I, you guys see me banging on that thing, and they didn't care, so. I'm gonna, might call that guy and see if he's got the keys until next time I come out here. I'm just gonna open that door and let her bark. But I'm probably gonna go to one more spot, and that's probably gonna wrap up this little pigeon silo jump shoot for you guys. But until then, I'll see you guys when we get there. I don't know how many times I've driven by this silo. It's a lot and I've, I've never seen a pigeon on it. I've never seen the hatch open, but it's open. This is probably gonna be my last spot. And while I'm up here, I'm gonna try something totally new and that's gonna be raccoon calling. Uh, I got the snow pro in the back i just bought it this year didn't get a chance to actually use it for what it's meant to be used for which is snow geese but i'm gonna break it in with some raccoons hopefully so trying to hit a sneak on these guys oh they're still far Let's see if it's empty It's empty. It's just too tall. Uh oh. There they go. See what I can do. I got one. I don't know if you guys could see him flying around in here. Hello? Yeah. Hi! Right. Oh, there goes some. Yes. The mo majority of them are flying out on that end. Not this way. Well, there's my last pigeon of this video. I had a great time, honestly. I hit some new spots I've never been to. Um, I'm gonna, next time I go to this place, it's gonna have to be with a few other guys. Just cause like I was saying, it's too tall for me to see where they're flying. But yeah, I probably ended with at least 25, I, I'd i wanna say, which is pretty good for calling. There you guys have it. I ended with 23 pigeons today. Like I said, I had a great time coming out here and doing some greasy pigeon silo jump shooting. I'd like to do this more often this summer. I know uh, when I'm up here farming in the fall, me and Luke do this pretty much like every other day when we're not farming because we really ain't got much else to do up here. But I'm gonna go and try to be way more greasier and try to call in some raccoons. Uh, I Honestly, I got the video idea from Mindak, Sam Lehman. Video is awesome. If you guys have not seen Sam's video of him going and shooting a raccoon with a collar, I went and attacked his collar and he shot it at like five yards. It was crazy. So I want to try it. I'd like to try it with a blow dart gun. If I even get that far, if I'm successful and shoot one tonight, you guys will know within the next couple days from when this video is posted, I'll have it up a couple days after that. So, but that's going to be a wrap. Thanks again. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.